quarterback! Um... They can't tell, though. Because it's just like a quick hit. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Maybe I could cut off and have another video. Ooh. Yeah, Lonnie, how, how do you even know? I how mean, this know is my video? process. I, I'm just an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but you're my kind of asshole. Nice, alright. <clears throat> So, what was, the, what was the question? So, um, have you ever taken people you know and put in your comics? And is there anything particularly volatile about that? Do you want to go Wait, first, Lonnie? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I Sometimes I put people in comics because I think it's funny. Um, little references. Um, usually like a building or something. Like in the rehearsal, the Frank um, Apartments. Yeah. It's for Frank... Romero, who's a great writer, and yeah, I don't know, little things like that all throughout his comics, because it's fun, and you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well then with me, I have actually um, a few to mention uh, in my latest short comic called Captain Capital. Uh, I have a bunch of people from real life in there. <laughs> um, two were on purpose. So... During my fundraising for the Fox Witch and Other Tales, uh, two people donated enough money to be in one of my comics. One was my mother, who chose to choose my niece to be in the comics, so I, I drew my niece, Sira, in there. And then the other one was um, my first and third grade teacher, Kimberly, and so I drew her in there as well. Um, but as for just randomly putting into my co people into my comics, I, <laughs> I put people I know, like, um, in Captain Capital, I put one of my friends punching another one of my friends because I was um, kind of mad at one of my friends at the time. And then I put a guy uh, in there who I went on a date with once. I put him in this character who was like really, who's really annoying and he just like, is like, Ow, oh, you did this wrong and I'm an asshole. But anyway, the story behind that is... I went on a date with a guy who was really manipulative and condescending and kind of overbearing and on our first date he was really touchy-feely and just like I got this horrible horrible vibe from him and when I when I let him down over an email he he sent me um, pictures of his cock basically <laughs> and it was like maybe we should just just have sex and if that's all you're into, and blah blah blah, and so I kind of took some slight revenge out by putting him in my comic. And so that kind of drew his penis. No, no, that's not <laughs> did, see it? Uh, did I see his? No, on the comic, could you see it? <laughs> all of it? No, all, you know you can't much. even you can't even tell it's him though. Like the yeah. likenesses, I don't get good enough. But it's more like when I'm drawing it, I'm like, this is this guy. I'm trying, to, I'm, I'm trying to make the physical aspects of that character look a little bit like the, the person in real life. And then um, I do the same thing with, like, also in Captain Capital, there's this relationship between a, a guy and a girl, and they meet at a club, and they have some sort of romantical relationship. And during the whole time I was drawing it, I was thinking of me and this one ex-boyfriend at the time, because I was going through a breakup. And so I, during this last comic that I've been drawing, which is Captain Capital, I put a lot of people from real life in, into it, and I found it very therapeutic, actually. And So yes, I do put real life people into my comic characters. And also <laughs> let this be a warning to viewers that um, you shouldn't date artists. <laughs> or, or, we'll, or we'll put you into our comics and take revenge upon the... Way to cut off your pool. <laughs> 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 Alone for the rest of my life. <laughs> and since Linda brought up Lonnie, do you ever let, I guess, romantic bits from your life enter your comic, or do you try to keep that out? I mean, <laughs> since relationships are so much what you write. Oh, uh, no, I don't try to keep it separate at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's a big, you know, um, it's a big part of me. It's um, relationships, you know. Women, um, they occupy a lot of headspace, so <laughs> it, you know, I, I think I'd be disingenuous if, if my art didn't reflect that, because it is part of who I am and what I do, so. Aren't your daily quote comics kind of exactly about that? Sometimes, um, sometimes they're philosophical, but yeah, sometimes 
lays about women's. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's not just about that. I mean, I think I, you know, I think that art is always kind of, to some degree, especially something so personal, um, this is a reflection of ourselves. So yeah, a lot of relationships though, a lot of women, um, but also, you know, like more philosophical aspects, things that I'm interested about, psychology, science, and all these things. Awesome. Yeah. Plus, yeah, I draw women that, you know, that I get mad at in my comics all the time. No, I, I don't. <laughs> you know, I, I, here's the other thing. Um, I think the tendency, as far as art-wise, is a lot of times whoever you're seeing a lot of, um, you know, they start to kind of morph into, like, the drawings that you make. I've seen this with a lot of artists. Oh, and then Layla and yeah. I, for a little while, got made fun of it for a while. Yeah, we did. <laughs> but yeah, I totally agree. The the guys who are most... <clears throat> and I will use guys <laughs> plurally. <laughs> who are most prominent in my head, I they tend to come out in my artwork. Yeah. For sure. And and women, I will say. Yes. All right. Plus, I like to draw boobs. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a fan of you drawing those. Oh, thank you. <laughs> So, um, were, was there anything you guys want to plug or put out? Yeah, we here? should probably put our uh, websites up, right? Yeah, I'll uh, link those. Oh, okay. In the doobly-doo. The doobly-doo. The doobly-doo. <laughs> um, <laughs> Is that what it's called now? I like it. It's, yeah, it, it's a reference to some guys called the Vlog Brothers on YouTube. Oh, so, if you don't know, that. check that out. <laughs> also, we ride bicycles. <laughs> nice! <laughs> What does that have to do with anything? Nothing. But awesome. yes, we do. Cartoonists I do ride too. bikes. <laughs> um, but no, any particular works coming out or things you want people to... Ooh! So, I'm... Uh, sorry, I almost wow. fell over for a second. <laughs> I got so excited. No, um... <laughs> my uh, short comic compilation called The Fox Witch is coming out shortly here. So keep an eye out and you can purchase it, or read all of the comics for free online at my at my website, which is LaylaDelDuca.com, which is, Matt will definitely link. And Matt will link my webcomics that I'll eventually do when I'm not drinking and hanging out with women so much. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right. Yeah. And then, was there any final thoughts or anything? Or? No. No. Boobs. Boobs. Peace, love, and hugs. Right. Peace, love, and a pint. We'll catch you later. <laughs>